Hey guys, what's going on? Rob from clicksgeek.com and in today's video I want to go through how to find out how much a keyword costs to actually be competitive and um, go after some of that traffic that everyone's trying to get after. So if you log into your Google Ads account, you're going to see here we're looking at one of our clients accounts here. You're going to go into, so there's two ways to do this first I should say. All right, you can you can actually go into Google once you have once your campaigns are running for a few days. Um, Google will populate some estimated click prices data, or you can go into the Keyword Planner and get a general idea. It's not really the Keyword Planner is kind of like Google's best guess. It's not that accurate in everything I've seen, but it is a good kind of way to to gauge what you're looking for. So the first way I'll show you is to actually use your your own campaign to decide what you should be bidding and how much keywords cost. So if we go to enter your campaign, go under keywords, you're gonna come up here to columns, attributes, and you can see here we have a few different options. So there's the estimated first page bid. All right, so this is this is not something you really care about, all right? Because this is just Google just gonna show you what it thinks um, the click cost is gonna be to be just on the first page. But remember, guys. That includes the bottom of the first page, which if you're at the bottom of the first page, you might as well be on page 197 because you're going to get just a lot of it like impressions and it's going to drive your C your CTR through the floor because nobody's going to click because they're they're not going to see your ads. All right. So stay away from that common misconception is that people actually care about this metric. In, in my opinion, for lead generation, I don't give a shit about estimated first page bid. doesn't matter to me. So the only things I care about are estimated first position, which is the number one the top of Google position, and estimated top of page bid. All right, now this is the magic one here. This is the one you should. Own. This is the only one you should care about. This one is just good to to kind of get a, a gauge of what your um, what Google's trying to charge people because this could be wildly different from top of the page. So top of the page, there's obviously four ad spots. For any given keyword, all right. When you're when you're searching Google, there's four ad spots. So this is saying what it's going to cost you to bid to get into one of those four spots. This one's going to tell you what it costs to become the number one spot at the very top. All right. So if we hit save or apply, sorry, and we'll scroll over here. Oh, didn't populate yet. All right. So that's probably going to take a little bit to populate, but this is an, this is just a way you can use that, guys. All right, so once this populates, you'll, you'll see all of the uh, Google suggested bids for each keyword. All right, now this is a good way to, if you want to, uh, if you can't figure out what to start your bids out when you're creating a, a new campaign and you need to get an idea of um, what you should start your, your starting bids out at or put your cap at if you're starting a campaign out with maximized clicks um, auto bid strategy, this is a good way to find out what that max cap should be. Now remember, you don't really want to, this, this is kind of just to get an idea. This is what you want to base all of your data on and what you're bidding, all right? Top of the page bid. You want to find a nice, healthy, medium area between all the keywords. So let's say that, you know, junk removal of Virginia Beach is $15. Junk removals, $18. Junk haulers near me is $12. So you kind of get an idea here of, of the range of things you're going to be going for. I would set a max. So if I'm using maximized clicks as my bidding strategy, I would put a cap on that of 20 bucks. All right, and that, that way I'm still hitting all of my top page bids, and I'm telling Google I don't want you going crazy and, and bidding $100 a click because they will. That's just what they do. They want to spend your money. All right, so that's one way to find how much you should be bidding on keywords and your ad, and how to set your ad group bids is um, using these two columns. And the next, we'll go up to Tools and Settings, Keyword Planner. Let that populate, and we'll throw in our theme keyword, which is junk removal. All right, get results. All right, so look at this. You're actually cheaper than I thought. Um, something you want to do too when you're doing this, looking for prices and your keywords. Every market's different. This is the average, so you want to actually put in your city. So if we're doing You actually want to put in all of your cities, but for sake of time, I'm just going to add two. This is really important to do, guys, when you're uh, doing your keyword research. You want to make sure you're doing your keyword research in your actual locations. Otherwise, it's going to take you across the whole United States, and it's going to be wildly different. 
So you can see here, top of the page bid, low range, top of the page bid, high range. So now you can kind of get an idea for your junk removal ad group. All right, well, I want my ad group bids to be at least, you know, 14 bucks. Or, and obviously don't ever do a flat rate like $13, $14 bid. You always want to do something like $13.47 or $13.49 if you want to beat this one. You always want to have that extra penny just in case it does go to the auction with um, tight competitors. Most of your competitors are going to be bidding like flat $13.50, $13.75, stuff like that. So you always want to have that odd penny out just in case. So yeah, here we go. It's uh, This is it. It's how you do it. Look at this. This is gold. Pure gold. So you're, you're coming in here. You're just getting your themes to your ad groups. And what I mean by that is, all right, so our junk removal ad group. Google's telling us top of the page bid on the high end is about thirteen forty eight. So if I want traffic immediately for my clients or myself, and I need I need leads, I need phone calls. I'm bidding fourteen, you know, fourteen oh three or something like that. All right, I'm setting my ad group bid for all of my keywords in junk removal ad group at fourteen oh three to start. Now if we go down to junk pickup, which is a great keyword, converts really well. It's saying ten bucks, ten oh two. All right, so I'm starting my junk pickup ad group and all the keywords in the ad group. I'm going to start them out at like, here I do like 10, 10, 13. Start there. See how that does. Check your impression share after two weeks and see where you stand. If you can bid higher to get more traffic, do that. Keep going down. All the way junk. Junk calling. This is a really good one. Both of these are good, actually. And you can see they're, they're a little different here. So for this, I, so this would be one ad group for me. Be honest, junk hauling and Holloway junk. I would put, I would just file Holloway junk under junk hauling ad group and all the associated keywords with that. So I would actually, in this situation, you can see here, junk hauling is 780 and Holloway junk is 1430. So you don't want to bid too low on the Holloway junk keywords. So if I'm lumping these into one ad group, I'm going to go with the higher bid. I'm going to start my bid out at like 1444 or something like that for the ad group and all the keywords in that ad group. All right, you guys get what I'm doing here. It's really not hard to find um, the cost per clicks you should be bidding. And like I said, if it doesn't populate in the campaign, like I showed you before, you know, you add the columns and there was no data in there. Sometimes it takes time. Could be up to 12, 24 hours actually. So if you if that happens and you, you need the data right now, come into Keyword Planner and just do exactly what I'm showing you right here. This is how you'll be able to find what you should be bidding, or at least starting out bidding on all of your ad groups. Now, some people are going to look at this video and be like, well, dude, I don't want to pay $15 a click. And that's okay. And that's fine. You can start bidding out lower, but you got to understand then you're going to take, it's going to take time for your campaign to ramp up. So you're not going to get, if, if, if you start these ad groups out and you look at these bids and they're, you know, seven to $14 and you come in, start bidding at five fifty, six dollars three dollars whatever, because you want to save some money and start slower, you're going to get very, very low traffic to no traffic. If you need leads right now, you need calls today. You got to come out. You got to come out swinging, and you got to come out with the top of the page bids because that's where all the traffic is. You know, it's just it's just the way it is. So you got to be competitive with everything you do in that in Google Ads. All right, guys. I hope this video helped. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We drop videos almost daily, and uh, hundreds of training videos on our channel. So make sure you go check out our playlist section. There's pretty much anything you want to learn about Google Ads is on our channel. And check out the links in the description. I put a uh, a link to our free course. It's called Google Ads Optimization Combat Tactics. I know, sounds awesome. <laughs> but um, in that free training course, I walk through exactly how to optimize your Google Ads campaigns to um, crush, crush your competition. I guarantee you, if you watch this video, you're gonna find you're gonna find these. Uh, it's actually a three-part video series. You're gonna find some gold nuggets that you aren't currently doing. All right, guys. I will catch you later.